Ritchie from This Is Real Life here and I call this channel This Is Real Life as every video is different and today's no different. Now in today's video I'm reviewing the Awanfi Portable Power Pack. What is there to love about this? Well if you used to live in somewhere like New Jersey where I did where the power is going out all the time in winter you will find this thing to be an absolute godsend. Your children will absolutely love it as it has two USB power ports in the front of it and something for adults on the back of it. But what makes this so special? Well, the fact it is probably only weighs two, three pounds in weight. It has a 42,000 milliamp lithium battery inside it, which not only powers the two USB ports on the front, it's also got a 12 volt output from there. But more importantly from the adults, it's got two mains outlets on the back. That's right, you can run main stuff from this portable power pack as I'm gonna demonstrate in just a second. But if your power goes out and you need to charge your phone or run your phone continuously, this thing will do it without any problem whatsoever. Anyway, let me get the camera down, give you a closer tour around it and demonstrate exactly what this power pack can do. Well, first of all, at the front of the power pack, we've got our two USB ports at the bottom and these are USB 3.0 ports. We've got a 15 volt input this device comes with a charger and this thing once charged you can leave it on the side for like a couple of months and it just drops a couple of percentage on there. Very very good indeed. We've got a 12 volt output here, on off switch here and an AC switch here. So turning it on you see 100% and this has been that's been left on charge now. Uh, that's been left on the side for about two months now without any problem whatsoever. The thing is very, very handy indeed. You could take that away camping with you. It's, as I say, maybe two, three pounds at the absolute most. You've got AC output at the back. If you've just got a two pin socket, it will run that. You've just got a three pin socket, it will also run that as well. However, I would recommend just running one at a time. Do not try and overload the thing by running two devices at once. However, with the built-in battery management system, it protects from over temperature, over voltage, over power, over current and short circuit. So you're going to be pretty safe whatever you do with this thing. This little vent in the back here, well it's a tiny little fan to help keep the thing cool. The question people are going to ask me is how long is that 42,000 milliamp capacity of the pack going to last? It all depends on what you're plugging into it. You've got two USB ports coming out of there with two USB ports on there. It's probably going to be lasting a couple of days just charging your phones up on that or maybe even more with something mains powered coming out of the back obviously that's going to draw more current draw more capacity out of the battery so it pure so how long will it last purely depends on exactly what you have got plugged into it hope that makes sense much like something at home if you've got an electric heater on it's going to use far more electricity than simply turning a light bulb on speaking of light bulbs okay well i'm going to show you the usb charging facility in a second but i think the one that most adults will be after is the power is the mains power out of the back so we're going to turn this on then we're going to hold this button down until AC out comes on. That now means both of these two sockets at the back are live. So if I plug this in to the lamp my daughter with a sense of humor has given me for this video, reach up, turn that on, and there we are. My portable power pack is now powering the AC powered light. As you can see, still at 100%, it's not dropping rapidly or anything like that. Obviously, the percentage that remains on there is going to depend on how much load you're putting on there. So if you're putting half a dozen lights on there, this but the battery, the percentage charge is going to drop far faster on there. But to my mind, you're probably going to be able to run a light like that pretty much all night and probably all day on there. I've not timed it. I've not timed it because really I don't have that much time on my hands, people. But the long and the short of it is, it's got plenty of power to provide you with a lamp in your tent or your house if your power goes out, which is for something this size is quite remarkable. You could actually push that away in your kitchen or bedside drawer. And if you want to turn the AC power off without setting the light off, just hit this button there, hold it down until the light goes out. Next up, I'm going to quickly demonstrate the USB ports on there. They will have absolutely no power coming out of them. As you will see when I plug this into my iPhone, it's not charging or anything because the thing is turned off. The minute I turn it on, he says, got 100% and it immediately starts charging my iPhone on there. So that, for many of us, will be an absolute godsend, particularly those with teenage children that absolutely rely on their iPhones. And more to the point, for mom and dad, when you're needing your iPhone charging, uh, if you're out in an emergency, or you're out camping in the middle of nowhere, and you just want the peace of mind of having your phone fully charged. And is it versatile? Well, we I think we can charge my phone 
at the same time as putting the light on. So you can be surfing the internet if you've got no battery using the power from this Awanfi power portable power pack. You can power a light at the same time as they do say it will power a small fridge but I think that will be a very small fridge indeed. If you overload this thing it will shut down. It's got built-in security protection in terms of electrics. It's not going to burst into flames. Anything like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my very short review of my Awanfi portable power pack. But I would highly recommend getting one of these. Particularly if you live in an area where the power cuts out a lot in winter. Well, this is the absolute ideal thing to take with you if you go camping. Because as I say, weighs two or three pounds at the absolute most. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this review, don't forget to subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.